I've recorded this so many times, I'm gonna try not to mess up, so. I mean, organizing in my life. Ah, people are so loud. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Melina, and today we're gonna be doing a Notion tour. So I know that this is a different video than the videos I usually post. I usually post like music stuff, but I wanted to do something different and something out of my comfort zone and actually show something that I like to do other than singing. Essentially, this video is gonna be full of tours, tutorials, and templates that I've made um, into a long video, so. I hope you guys like this and remember to like and subscribe and support all of my other socials. I'll put some text around here. Um, so let's get started. Hi, I just wanted to say that all of the photos on my Notion are from Pinterest, so I do not own any of these photos. If you need photo inspiration, my Pinterest is on the right. Okay, now let's get into the tour. This is what you see when you first go on my Notion. This is my first page that lays out everything out for me at a glance. And here we have my calendar, which has birthdays, anniversaries, and dentist appointments. This really helps me see my monthly schedule and what I have going on. And then we start to scroll down to see my pages. The first page I have is my home page, which shows personal, work, and school. This lays out everything I need for my day-to-day -day life. Under personal, we have my gratitude page where I write down what I'm grateful for and why. This page really helps me become more grateful for the things I have and lets me be more aware of the amazing things in my life. Then here we have my meditation tracker. I meditate almost every day because it really relieves all the stress I have in my life and I like to take note of how long I meditated and what days I meditated. And the last page under my personal heading is my daily affirmations. I like to say good things to myself every morning and night, and here are some of the things I say in order for me to feel confident and loved throughout the day. And moving on to work, here I have is my song plans. I don't really want to go into depth with this because I don't want to spoil future songs, but this is a page to remind myself what needs to be done for a song that I'm currently working on. Now we have my school header where I can find my test to retake page. Fortunately, I have no tests that need to be retaken, but this page helps me organize what tests I need to redo in order to get my grades up. And in this table, I have the test name, teacher, the current test score, retake date, and my final test scores. Finally, on my homepage, we have current grades. I really like this page because I can log in my grades and see from a glance certain patterns in my grades and the class that is hardest for me. That is all I have for my homepage, but here are some photos that I thought matched the homepage theme. Moving on to my dream life page, this page is very similar to a vision board where it shows inspiration on what I want my dream life to be like. From clothing, to my dream career, to my dream home, to even my dream wedding dress. You can find whatever I want in my life on this page. Now we have my tarot definition page. I actually did not make this myself and got this template off of twirling pages on YouTube and she got this template from Treeless Bark off of Reddit. Tarot has been so interesting to me so I added this page with all the definitions so I could study all the cards. And now we have my mood tracker. I use this page to track my mood in the morning and evening and I even track if I meditated and did my daily affirmations. And on the right side I write in the journal whatever I want that day which really helps me let things out. I also put in an hour slept column because I like to see how many hours I slept that day. I also like the bottom bar because it gives me an average of my mood and my hours slept and I find it very interesting that my morning mood is actually higher than my evening mood. And here we have is my wishlist page. If you don't know this about me, I'm a very big shopper and I really like to spend my money on clothes and this page is to kind of let me be aware of the things I really want so I know what to save for. Also this page helps me when family members ask what I want for my birthday or Christmas and I can pull this up when I don't know what I want. And finally, here's my to-do list page. This is pretty self-explanatory. And that is all I have for my Notion tour, so stick around for some tutorials and free templates. So what you're gonna do is go to canva.com and click create a design on the upper right hand corner and click custom dimensions. Set your image to 1500 by 600 pixels for the best quality cover. And once it loads, you can click on your design and change the color to whatever you want by using the search bar on the left and you could get different color palettes depending on the color you want. If you want to upload your own photos, on the left hand side there should be an upload button where it takes you to your previous upload pages from past projects. 
click the upload media button to upload media from your device and then I choose what image I want from my desktop and push the open button. From here you click the photo you want and drag it to your design. Here I am rotating and dragging the image to make it large enough to fit the design. And now that you're happy with your image, you can click the download button on the top right hand corner and download it to your computer. To upload your covers to Notion, you're going to go to the page where you want the cover to be on and click add cover. From there, it should load a random generated cover, and on the right, you could click Change Cover button. You could choose from their gallery, but we want to click Upload and upload our own cover. Click Choose an Image and Choose a Photo that we just made in Canva and click Open. Wait for it to load, and there we have our own cover. To download pretty images and put them on your Notion, I go to Pinterest and scroll through my homepage until I find a cute picture. Then I hit the three dots and hit Download Image. Moving back to Notion, here's how you add your image and place it in different areas. So first you're going to type slash for commands and scroll to the media and click image. Here you can upload any photos you want from your downloads. Once you have your image, your image should go to load and once it's finished loading, you can adjust how big or small you want your photo using the handlebars on the left and the right side of your image. adding another image to show how to move images around when you have multiple images or blocks on your Notion page. Notion will let you know that you can move something once you see the little blue highlighted line on the side of the place you want to move your photo. Essentially, you can move the photo wherever you want as long as you see that little highlighted line. You can even move text next to your photos using the six tiny dot button on the left side of your text like this. dedicated to Notion templates. You can find pages I made to make your Notion process easier with seven templates to choose from. In the color theme home pages, you can find images in the corresponding color and a personal work and school section. We have self-care, habit trackers, and daily affirmations, work schedules, tests to retake, and current grade pages. Essentially everything you need to get started. I've also included my own theme in this crystal sort of theme. To use the templates, all you have to do is duplicate the page by clicking the duplicate button on the upper right side and it'll duplicate the page to your own Notion. From there, you could change up whatever you want and customize the templates I have made for you. I'll leave all the templates in the description box down below. So thank you for watching. That is all I have for today. And if you want any more other content like this, let me know. Um, this is very out of my comfort zone, so... Um... <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week and bye-bye.